With this technique, you can create a textile design for your background, which really gives you a lot of different directions you can take things. Um, if you just Google search textile design, there's plenty that you can use for inspiration um, or kind of copy the pattern and use that as well. And then there's also many different materials you could use for this. Um, in the time lapse example that I'll play, I use construction paper, but you could also use um, tin foil. You could just use regular paper and actually draw out the textile design and fill it in with colored pencil or paint. Um, so it's completely up to you how you create it. But the important thing with the textile design is that there's repetition of shape and color. So whatever you do choose to use, you'll be repeating that same pattern um, over and over again, just thinking about the placement of things. So if I click on some of these, you can see how the design is the same. It's just kind of in different places. So any of these sort of designs would work well. There's um, some that are more complex than others. The one that I'll show in the time lapse that I did is very simple. Um, but here's another great one where there's just line design added into the different uh, textiles and shapes. Uh, so in the example, I just use triangles. You could do circles, flowers. So be creative with whatever design you choose to use, but just remember to repeat it. Um, so here's the time lapse of what I did. And again, it's very um, simplified, but I started out and I knew I wanted to repeat some different triangle designs. So I'm just using a piece of paper as my edge or ruler, and I'm creating a design that I can then cut out and then just continuously trace. So if you wanted to do a flower or mo a more complex design, I would still draw it out, cut out your shape, and then continuously trace it um, onto either construction paper or just plain paper uh, that you can cut out and use to repeat. Or if you're not going to cut things out and you're just going to draw directly onto your paper, I would still cut out your flower or cut out your shape and then just trace it like I'm doing here, but play around with the placement and think about how you want that repetition of your shape to look. Um, and then I'm also going in with a larger triangle here um, for a, another design just to change things up. So I would recommend repeating shapes, but change up the size. I'm also going to cut this one out so that I can then trace it um, and repeat the same size a few times. So I'm going to skip ahead here. So here I am tracing the larger triangle designs. Um, and then once you have them cut out, think about the placement of things and how you want to arrange them for the background. So I'm going to repeat the big triangle and then the small triangle and just do every other, kind of make them fit in that space nicely. Um, once you have your shapes down, be creative with it. So if you have time, maybe on top of the triangles, you could do more detail or you could go in with um, some different lines or design. And then I have my portrait cut out and I'm going to be gluing it down on top of my textile design. Uh, but before you actually glue down your textile design, think about if any shapes could maybe overlap or come in front of uh, the portrait, like I have this little triangle here overlapping a bit. So be creative, come up with a design you can repeat, and then think about what you can do to take it further and add to it. 